are video games good for you? Can video games actually make you a better doctor? Now for most of the general public, there's a stigma attached to video games. When most people think about video games, they either believe it's for children or it's a hobby for socially awkward adults that are oftentimes overweight. However, given the state of the world that we've been living in, video games have been on the rise. And I really believe that as time goes on, the perception for video games is going to change. However, oftentimes, as it's true with other things, the public is misinformed. And I feel like the public is misinformed about video games. There is a decent amount of scientific literature out there that talks about the benefits of video games. One of the benefits that's out there in the literature is that video games help with problem solving. There've been, there, there have been studies done where they compare people who don't play video games and people who play, in particular, 3D video games, something like Super Mario 64. I believe that's what they used in the paper. By the way, these papers that I talk about, they'll all be linked down below if you want to check them out. But they compared problem solving skills with these two groups. And what they found is that people who played 3D video games were essentially better at problem solving. Same goes for memory. There's some evidence out there that playing video games actually improves memory. There's also other literature out there that says that playing video games actually helps physicians who spent time playing video games for X amount of hours, I forget exactly how many hours they uh, researched per week, actually had less surgical complications than physicians who did not. And you, that might be surprising to you, but it's because there's a whole field of medicine and surgery and the medical field in general is going towards a direction of minimally invasive techniques. What does that mean? That means making smaller incisions, putting surgical tools and surgical equipment through these smaller incisions, and then manipulating the anatomy and performing these big surgical procedures, but while looking at a screen. We have to, u we have to usually manipulate things with our hands while we're watching a screen. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? That's exactly what you do when you play video games. You're manipulating things that are on the screen, but you're manipulating them with your hands. You're not looking at your hands while you're doing it, you're looking at the screen. And a lot of surgery is now laparoscopic, which means that you make smaller holes, smaller incisions, I should say, and you introduce a camera, and you introduce surgical tools within the abdomen, let's say, and you'll be manipulating the tools in the abdomen, but you'll be watching the, the camera, and you'll be watching the screen as you do it. But there is a small bit of uh, research being done on video games. And now, ever since this state of the world that we've been in, video games have just been on the rise. So I'm predicting that in the future there'll be more research out there on video games because it's something that can't really be ignored. It's starting to meld in and become part of society. So at the end of the day, I grew up playing video games. I started with the original Mario Brothers on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And I've been pretty much playing video games ever since then. I don't have time to play them daily. Sometimes I play video games maybe two days a month. But I always sort of enjoyed the aspect of it being an interactive experience. I, of course, like everyone else, I enjoy watching movies. I don't really watch any TV shows. I don't really watch TV that much, actually. I prefer to have something that's a little bit more interactive. It just makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something or doing something instead of just watching someone else do it. But there's a lot of benefits out there to video games that I feel like as time is going to go on, more of the public will become aware of. And that, and I just want to put it out there, that doesn't mean that video games are all good. As with every, anything else in life, in excess, anything can be bad. There is, video game addiction is a real thing. And I'm not going to talk about that in this video, but, you know, just be aware. Video game addiction is a real thing. I'm not over here saying that there are no downsides to video games. There are. 
just like with anything else, you have to be disciplined, you have to keep a balance. Video games are not all bad. And there are some very proven, interesting literature out there that talks about the positive effects of video games. But regardless, it's a leisurely activity. It's a hobby for a lot of people. And I don't think it should be frowned upon and looked negatively upon like the way most of the public sort of does. Let me know your thoughts. Do you guys play any video games? Let me know what you guys are playing. Are you excited for the new consoles like the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5? Let me know down below. And until next time.